share my thoughts on how the narcissist feels once you've moved on and you're not looking back. I'm talking from experience, I'm talking from what I went through and as soon as I moved on, the ex was like very comfortable, like yeah, it's fine, like you'll be back, like really quite confident about it. When six months went by, a year went by, that's when it really hit home, like this girl was not coming back, like the no contact didn't work because obviously it never works first time. When he did actually contact me, I did try the grey rock method, which I don't believe actually works, to be honest with you, with some, with some narcissists. If my ex didn't really work, he, it just made him angry. The fact that I wasn't giving him that emotional supply just made him so angry. When he realised, you know, that I wasn't interested, um, he started to get really angry and the abuse actually got worse than it was in the relationship. When I was in a relationship with the narc, I didn't even know I was being abused because I was manipulated and it was all emotional, financial. Once I left the relationship, it started to get like verbally abusive and even started to get physically abusive. When he realised that the lies, the manipulation wasn't working, he just started to get angry. He started to get angry where he said a few things. I actually wrote a police statement and I found a police statement the other day. Some of the things that he would say to me would be like, F you. Um, he would call me, he would say that he's going to bust my head open. He called me a bitch, a scare, a whore, you name it. He was always like acting like he was going to take my son away, like trying to make me fearful of him. And because he knew that I didn't give a toss about nothing else but um, my son. I think he realized at this point that all I care about is my son. To a point, he I think he said something like, F me and F my son. But I didn't get it on um, audio, so... He could easily deny it. It's my word against his. There was one thing he said. He said he said stuff like, I would come around there and he's going to stab my cousin. He said, F me, F my mom. Like, he threatened to kill family members. He, fre he just threatened to kill me more than three times. This is literally all because I've left him and moved on. So he's furious. He's angry. He's trying the most. First, he tried lo love bombing at the start. And then when he realised the love bombing wasn't working like that, and then he tried to say, oh, come back to me, we could be a family. And then when he realised I just wasn't interested in him or the whole family dream that he was trying to sell, he started to, like, the real him came out. So you start to see the real him, especially if they're covert narcissists. They're so sweet and kind to you. Like, you rarely have arguments with this narcissist. Like, it's all to do with, like finances so they always make excuses for not being able to get a job or that kind of thing at that point i finally realized i realized the day that i left him that who he really was because that's the first time i saw that side to him but as a year went on and i saw that side to him it was absolutely crazy he even said those things so the abuse got worse and i think at that point was it was like the end of my healing in terms of me understanding that it wasn't my fault i went through and I have to move forward, like there's no if, buts or maybes. Even if I really want to stay, I can't. Even if I really love this person, I just literally can't because this person is out of control. Like for your mental health, it's not wise that you stay with this person. So after they're gone, they're upset, they're angry. And this is why it's important you don't go back because the abuse gets worse and worse each and every time. Um, so when I was with him the first time, he didn't put hands on me, but when we broke up, when I when I left him, rather, when I discarded him, when I left him and he got that narcissistic injury, that's when he started putting hands on me. So if I went back to him the second time, which I didn't, if I did, he'd probably just be slapping me around thinking that it's okay because I've done it already, so why wouldn't I do it again? But that's my take on what happens when you move on, the abuse gets worse and they get angrier and the only thing that have, has helped me in this situation is that I called the police and got a restraining order. That's the only reason why my life is somewhat peaceful because obviously I still get my Hoover attempts but it's not as horrible as it was before. But if you're thinking about getting a restraining order, that's one of the best things that ever happened to me. I kept getting abused and abused and abused and even when I left him, the abuse got worse. And the only thing that stopped it was that restraining order. Police arresting the ex-narc, having him in a cell overnight and having that restraining order was the only thing that's allowed me to actually move on with my life. I recommend you get a restraining order if you haven't already. You move on and you don't look back and I will see you for my next video.